Read, Learn, Grow proudly presents Ready to Fly, How Sylvia Townsend Became the Bookmobile Ballerina, written by Leah Leon and A. Le Fay, forward by Sylvia Townsend, illustrated by Jessica Gibson, narrated by Miss Tyler. Some books start with a foreword, a little note by someone who is not the author of the book. This foreword is called A Note on Hopes and Dreams, and it's written by Sylvia Robertson Townsend, the girl that this picture book biography is about. Let's read the last paragraph of Sylvia's note. I hope this book will inspire children everywhere to pursue their dreams, regardless of race or background, whether they are rich or poor. I want every child to forget the phrase, I cannot, and to always know that yes, you can. Born with the beat in my feet, I jive to daddy's jazz and sway to mama's symphonies. As musical notes start to float, I rise to my toes, ready to fly. When our second-hand TV fills with beautiful dancers, all feathered and fine, I say, I want to do that too. Sylvia, Mama says, they're dancing the ballet Swan Lake. Ballet? Oh, I need to learn ballet, Sylvia says. Can I take lessons? I want to leap and twirl and do plies till I can dance in real ballets. But Daddy says, sorry, baby, lessons don't come free. So I twist Mama's scarves into a tutu and make my own ballet slippers. Dressed and ready, I try and try, but my feet won't budge. There must be another way to learn how to soar. That spring, a bookmobile rolls into our neighborhood. We've got old books, shiny books, new books. Do you have any ballet books? I ask the smiling librarian. Why don't we look together? We search the shelves for the perfect book to give me wings. At home, I begin reading, building my own bar, learning the positions, first, second, and third. Each month, a new book adds to my routine. Jeté, pirouette, arabesque. I feel my wings growing one feather at a time. One day, I'll be a flying ballerina, too. News of the Bookmobile Ballerina draws neighborhood kids, singing, Teach us how to leap and twirl and do plies till we can dance in real ballets. Out on the stoop, I show them my swan-like strides and my rising releves. I'm the one giving lessons now. My fourth grade teacher, Miss Spidell, sees my swirling steps. Any girl who can dance like you needs real lessons to reach for the sky, she says, and offers to pay my way. Mama, Miss Spidell, and I set off to see some ballet schools, but the first school says, too full. School two says, no room. School three whispers, it just can't be, letting the real reason slip. Ballet is for white girls. Is ballet not for girls like me? Those words pluck the feathers from my wings. My dancing feet don't feel the beat. My tutu goes back to being mama's scarves. I tuck away my slippers and tell the librarian, I won't need any more books. But my little swans twirl up for their next lesson. They still want to fly. Who else will show them how if I don't? Lesson by lesson, we grow more feathers until we shashay onto the school talent show stage in the fall. The best part comes as an encore. Backstage, another dancer says, My daddy thinks you should meet Madame Shrevenka. She came all the way from Russia and teaches dance, too. Like the ballerina from TV? Could this really be? I jump at the chance to finally get my wings. When the day of the audition arrives, I soar through the studio door. Seeing all the mirrors, 
I freeze, but the music starts to float, and so do I. Rising to my toes, I fly across the floor. Daddy's jazz becomes a beat in my feet. Mama's symphonies help me soar. As the last notes fade away, I float into reverence. I hold my breath, waiting to hear what Madame Shervenka will say. Smiling, she says, You've never had a lesson, dear? I bow my head, whispering, No. Well, you're a beautiful dancer. Madame Shervenka takes me under her wing, offering me a free place in her school. Every book, every beat, every practice at the bar has brought me to this day. All feathered and fine, I am a ballerina who can leap and twirl and do plies and loves to dance in real ballets. A ballerina whose little swans are ready to fly. Sylvia was a spunky and courageous girl, with hard work, a supportive family, devoted teachers, and library books. She reached her dream of becoming a ballerina. Sylvia created her own dance company when she grew up, which performed nationwide, and her own ballet school called the Art of Ballet School of Dance. Some of Sylvia's students performed at Disneyland and later trained with famous dancers. Her son danced with the Dance Theater of Harlem, and her two daughters taught and co-directed Sylvia's school. Sylvia did reach her dream of becoming a ballerina. It all started with one determined girl with one library book from one bookmobile. A bookmobile is a traveling library, a van or truck that goes to various towns or schools, bringing library books to many people, complete with a librarian to help them find the perfect one. Here is a photograph of the very first book wagon in the United States. It traveled to different towns in Maryland in 1905. By the 1940s, bookmobiles had made it all the way to California. In 1947, in the town of Richmond, California, Sylvia's hometown, there was the first bookmobile on the West Coast. Here's a photograph of the Richmond Public Library Traveling Branch from 1948. In the 1950s, children were lining up at the Rockingham County Library Bookmobile in North Carolina. In the 1960s, bookmobiles were visiting places like Leon County in Florida. Today, the city of Richmond's bookmobile is very colorful and as of 2018 was still making trips around the city.